Good morning, Army. It's Heidi Allen, founder of the Positive People Army. I hope you're all doing well this morning. It is Wednesday. I'm heading into work. My lovely husband, Mike Allen, is driving morning. me in. Good morning. Um, so, I hope everyone's doing great today. And I want to thank everyone uh, for all of their amazing answers and what they share when I post some things and we all post amazing things in the army thank you so much there was one particular post that I put up this week and it was about trust and trust is such a hot button topic it's one of those topics that um, is very difficult to actually navigate and trust sometimes is a really hard emotion to navigate sometimes because trust or when trust is broken generally comes from a broken heart so it comes from pain and pain is definitely very difficult especially if you've had your heart broken um, I know that pain I know that pain I know every single person that is listening to this and every single person out in the army at one time or another has had a painful heartbreak and yes 100% it is true time will heal a broken heart but I'm going to tell you something time is never going to heal trust trust does not come back after a healed broken heart it doesn't trust is a choice and in a lot of cases some people you know um, they think that once I feel better once my heart feels better you know I'll be able to trust again and that's not gonna happen if you don't make that choice if you don't actually relearn what you have to do which is to trust someone because what happens is we all have our scenarios and many people posted in that post that I put out there about you know I've had a boyfriend that's cheated on me I've had friends that have lied to me I've had this I have that and the list goes on and they continue regurgitating that list over and over again and see where that is coming from is it's so fear-based 100% it's fear-based and I get it trust is a hard one to give back again so like I said you 100% have to learn how to trust again this is about relearning and when you start to relearn you have to make sure that number one you're not controlling what your trust is because that comes from a place of fear so fear of course if you keep yourself all wrapped up and your heart all wrapped up and you never let it open again and you never let it connect to anyone again one you're never gonna have those beautiful connections like you have to think before your heart got broken you were in probably a really great relationship, a friendship, a, a, a husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife, whatever it was. You were in that really wonderful relationship and then all of a sudden it ended, broke your heart, and now you have no trust. Well, if you stay there and if you continue staying there, if you constantly come from a place of fear and you don't, you don't relearn it, then you're going to keep yourself trapped in a prison of never feeling again and no one wants that. No one wants that. And the thing is, is that fear-based place, if you continually saying the same dialogue, you know, like, I'll never trust again. I can't trust again because such and such and such could happen to me again. Well, we all know in this army what you put out there into the universe, what you put out there. Like I always say, the universe is like a magic genie. If you keep saying that every time you open your heart, you're going to get your heart broken again. You can't trust what's going to happen. Then guys, that's all you're going to get. If that's the dialogue, if that's the thing you're continually saying over and over again, that's all you're going to get. So you have to relearn this. So. The first thing I'm going to say is make sure when you're relearning trust that you're not replacing that trust, that letting go and trusting that feeling with control because controlled trust is really not trust. So I'm going to give you a for instance. Okay, so there's a mama bird. Mama bird sitting on a branch and her little baby bird has to jump off the branch. She's going to jump off the branch. It's got to fly for the very first time. The mama bird the trust of just letting her go, that little tiny bird to jump off, that's trust, that letting go, just opening up, letting go, knowing those little baby bird's wings are gonna open. 
A controlled trust is if that mama grabbed the top of that bird and as it flew down, yeah, the little baby bird's wings opened up, but the mama flapped hers as well. That's control and that's not trust. You can see the difference there. I know you can see the difference. One is letting go and just my gosh. And where does that come from? That comes from a place of faith. Trust and faith are like this. And guess what? You all know what faith is. You have faith every single day that the sun's gonna come up. You have faith every single day that the earth is gonna keep spinning on its axis. You know what faith is and you have it. Faith has to do this with trust because that's where courage comes from and that's where love comes from, all of it. You have to just let go and have faith. So. Trust is up to you. It is a choice. You can keep your heart all wrapped up and never let anyone in again. Or you, and you can be that mama bird with that controlled trust holding on, not really letting that baby bird go. It's completely up to you. I just want you to know that when you let go and you just trust, you start practicing, you start practicing trusting people. Little by little, practice. Practice makes perfect. Practice it trusting a little here, trusting a little there, until all of a sudden, you just let go like that little baby bird and fly off the branch. Okay, Army, that was a big one. Trust is a big one, isn't it? I love you all. I hope you have an incredible day, and I hope hearts start opening now, and we all start trusting. Have a great day. Bye.